Hey guys, today we're going to be solving problem 8.4. It asks us to find V0 positive, I0 positive, DV, DT when it's uh, T is greater than 0, DI, DT when T is greater than 0, V infinity and I infinity. Now we know this uh, time domain, so we need to find all the values for T less than 0, greater than 0 when T equals infinity. The U means it's a step function. So when, uh, so U of T equals zero and uh, when t is less than zero so now when we go here but because it's a negative it flips it around so and we already know that uh, capacitor acts as a open circuit when it's less than zero and inductor acts as a short circuit mm -hmm. so usually this would be four times zero but because it's a negative the t is negative it's mm -hmm. the opposite so now our voltage source is on and our current source is off so we redraw the circuit um, inductor short, current source is also open circuit, voltage source right here is a uh, open circuit and we are looking for I0 minus V0 minus first so I0 minus is just Ohm's law V over R so uh, the 4 volts over the 2 series resistors which gets you 0 0.5 amps now we know that I0 positive is also 0 0.5 amps because the current on the inductor could not change instantaneously. Now V0 minus is just Ohm's law again, 0 0.5 what we got times the resistor because uh, this right here is the voltage drop across this resistor. So it's just 2.5 and we know that the voltage on the capacitor cannot change instantaneously so we get 2.5 volts for V0 positive. Now that we have those two values, we want to go for T when T is greater than 0. So again, a reminder, U of T equals 0 when T is less than 0, and U of T equals 1 when T is greater than. So then, what we do here is we redo the sources so now we get zero volts so now the voltage source is off and the current source is on so we draw the circuit we omit the voltage source which becomes a short circuit and uh, we label some things so this is the current on the capacitor current on the resistor current on the inductor which is the same way as I0 positive so from the above, the IR would just be Ohm's law V over R. So we got V0 positive was the 2.5 volts over the R resistance, which is 5. We get 0 0.5 amps. Now we just do KCL on this node right here. And we get uh, current on the capacitor plus current on the resistor equals the current I0, which would be the same as IL, uh, plus the 4 amps going in. Moving, Adding the values that we already know, we get current on the capacitor we get 4 amps now we know this is uh, in the time domain it's capacitor DVDT and that is current on the capacitor zero positive over the capacitance so it's just the 4 that we got over the value of the capacitor which is 0 0.1 farads is 40 volts per second for DVDT zero positive now what we want to do is we want to do KVL right here, do it clockwise, the same direction as the current is always best, um, so you don't mix up the signs. Um, now it's just uh, resistor times current, V, since it's KVL, 3I0 positive, plus VL plus VC equals 0. Plug in the known values, VC we already know because we know the current times the resistor, which is this 5 right here. It's the same voltage drop, so we get a 2.5. Uh, 1.5 plus 2.5, move it to the other side. We get VL equals negative 4, and in the time domain, uh, VL is LDI over DT. So we get VL, 0 positive, over the inductor. Negative 4, the value that we got, over the 0.25 Henry's... Uh, value for the inductor we get negative 16 amps per second for di zero positive dt now that we have those two values for b now we want to find v infinity and i infinity and for that we need to set t equals to infinity 
which makes the inductor a short circuit, capacitor is an open circuit, negative T is zero, T equals one, and the voltage source is a short circuit. So then it cuts off the voltage, uh, the inductor is short, the voltage is an uh, open circuit, and we add the current source. Now I infinity would just be a current divider and going recalling your current divider rule it's just the current times the opposite resistor over the two resistors in series so it's just negative four because it's going the opposite direction as the current i infinity uh, over t multiplied by five over three plus five which gets you negative 2.5 amps for that now v infinity is just three times uh, negative i infinity because a uh, conventional sign says that going in is uh, negative and going out is positive so the 7.5 volts because the two negatives cancel out and you have your final value for infinity which is 7.5 volts hope this helps you guys